Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. I'm going to try to hammer through this video. This is an instructional video on how to put together the I Love You kit. Uh, it's going to come in two different variations. Tri-color for a couple dollars more and single color, which is red. Now, I actually did an instructional video on my good-for-nothing camera decided to funk out on me and I lost all of my data so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what comes with the kit and then I'm going to uh, show you how to put it together but I'm not actually going to solder a variation of it together but I'm going to talk about each of the components and how to place them the kit comes with a printed circuit board two-pin terminal block for a power rail a 7805 5-volt regulator a dip 8 uh, socket a program pick 10F222 microcontroller, a 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, a uh, 0 0.1 microfarad electrolyt or a capa ceramic capacitor, a 5 470 ohm resistors, 3 2K ohm resistors, 1 10K ohm resistor, and 2 390 ohm, resist uh, ohm resistors, and a push button, 3 NPN transistors, 2N2222, and a whole whack of LEDs. 23 LEDs. So first of all, all of the uh, all of the resistors on the board are labeled either 2K 390R 390R 470R 470 ohm or 10K. So they're easy to place. If you can't determine which is which on here, all you have to do is bring out your your uh, your voltmeter or your ohm meter, sorry, and, and determine which one's which. Uh, the footprints are well labeled. They're not polarized, obviously. The resistors so. Place all those, solder them, be very careful with your solder joints, and next we'll talk about the capacitors. C2 is labeled 10U, or 10 micro. That's our electrolytic, and there's a plus sign on the left. That's an indicator that the longer lead should be placed in that side. And so, on the left side, positive lead, longer pin. Uh, on the right hand side, it's your, your negative lead, and that's your shorter pin. As you can see, the electrolytic has a short and long lead. So uh... make sure that to place that backwards long lead in the side with the plus symbol if you place that backwards you power it up and you might pop it and that's no good next we've got your ceramic capacitor uh... that goes into the c1 slot it's labeled 0.1 u it's ceramic it can be placed either way because it's not polarized so solder those both into place and we'll talk about the transistors and the terminal block the transistors are labeled T1, T2, and T3. It says 2N2222 on the board. The tw the transistors have a flat side and a curved side. The flat side has the writing on it. Now, from a bird's eye view, look at the, the uh, footprints. There's a flat side and a curved side. Make sure that when you put your transistors in, that the curved side matches the curved side and the flat side matches the flat side. If you turn it around, then your uh, your LED segments will not turn on and that if you're if that's happening that's the first place you'd want to look make sure that the flat side of the transistor the side with the writing on it is facing the flat side of the footprint the button really only fits in one way it fits right here in the uh, in the cell button area it's labeled SEL it fits in one way pop it into place make sure it's flush to the board and solder it into place the 5 volt regulator has a silver side that's your back side and it has a side with writing on it that's your front side make sure that the side with the silver on it is facing the white stripe on the board and make sure that the front is facing outwards on the board like so your terminal block has two terminals on it and it's got a, a, a side that's just plastic make sure that the plastic side is facing the regulator and that the terminal sides are facing outwards if you turn that around you're gonna have a lot of trouble uh, wiring up your power connections to it so solder those into place and next we'll talk about the socket the socket has a notch on the left hand side. The footprint has a notch on the left hand side. The IC has a notch on the left hand side. Make sure that you line up the notch in the socket with the notch on the footprint so that you'll have reference when you place the, uh, the IC in the socket. And again, if you can see from here, the notch is on the left. If you turn it around and make the notch facing right, you're going to fry your chip and your circuit is not going to work and you're going to be one ha unhappy camper. Lastly, we're going to talk about the LEDs. Lastly, we're going to talk about the LEDs. Notice that the LED has a long lead and a short lead. Short lead is negative, long lead is positive. In the case of every single LED on this board, the positives are on the left hand side and the negatives are on the right hand side. Now what that means is every single LED on here, you're going to want to place the long lead on the left hand side and the short lead on the right. Another way of determining which side is the positive and the negative based on these footprints 
is uh, there is a curved side to the footprint, and that indicates a positive, and there is a flat side, and that's always a negative. Now, in the case of this footprint as well, the negative side is always the side with the uh, label on it. And by the label, in this case, I'm pointing to D D8. So the side with the D8 label on it is your negative. So I'm not going to overcomplicate things. In the case of every single LED on this board, make sure that you place your longer lead in the left hand pin and your shorter lead in the right for every single LED. Now we're going to want to power it up. 9 volts. You can have more than 9 volts. You can have up to 20. 9 volts is nominal. So as soon as you power it up, this is good. In all likelihood, you're not going to have any problems. All of the segments are lighting up in order. What you want to do to test is hold down the select button, let go, and you get a second pattern. That means that your selection button is working. Now we know it's working, so hold down the button again. You can hold it down for as long as you want, let go, and you'll get the third pattern. Hold it down again, pattern starts over. So again, we sell these in only red segments and uh, tricolor segments. So in this case, you're seeing a tricolor segment kit. So I hope you found that uh, assembly video useful if you purchased this. If not, thanks for watching the video anyway. We've got tons of great kits coming out. Uh, I'm going to try to integrate at least 50 new products this year. So for those of you who subscribe and uh, continue to watch my videos, thanks again for watching. Check us out on engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. And have a great uh, rest of your evening.